Hey guys, I just finished taking a bath, so that's why my hair is all wet still. So I'm probably not going to end up doing my hair again fully tonight, but I wanted to talk about this product that I'm going to do a review on right now. So I'm going to talk about the Brevlon Colorstay Active Foundation, and this is a light makeup, and it has an SPF of 25. I picked out this um, color 02 Buff, and... The other thing that I really like about this is it's oil free so it's definitely really important for a skin like mine. So I'm kind of going to do like a little demonstration and also kind of talk about the product and how much I've been enjoying it this week. So I started using this product um, on Monday and it is now Friday. I've used it every day this week as my foundation before going to work. Um, and I love it. It's very light. It, um, it sort of smells very similar to the Revlon Color Stay, but it's not as heavy of a foundation and it lasts all throughout the day. So I put it on in the morning and then I wear it all the way to the end of the night until I go to bed. So I'm really enjoying that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the product and I'm going to get a little bit on my finger and start sort of dabbing it on my face. I also like this product a little bit better than just the Revlon Color Stay um, liquid foundation on just an, a day to day basis because I think it's a little bit easier to use. It's not as liquidy and it's a little bit easier to blend. The Revlon Color Stay liquid foundation dries pretty quickly so you have to kind of really work pretty quickly to blend it in. So I've got this just kind of applied all over. Looks kind of scary. And then what I do is I just start working it in. I did apply a moisturizer right before um, doing this, probably about 5 or 10 minutes before starting this video. So it's had plenty of time to sort of sink into my face. And using your hands is one of the best sort of tools that you have. I'm going to go and apply just a little bit more. Like I said, this is a very light foundation. I've also been using my um, Maybelline Mineral Power Concealer. And just dot that onto the eye area. Especially where my dark under circles are. And then I conceal any areas where I have a little bit of redness. So now I'm just going to blend this in with my fingers. That's the best tool, I think, personally for blending in concealer. And just kind of, I kind of just, it's basically like a tapping motion. I'm just tapping it into the skin, kind of blending it in. Just like that. Oh, looks like I didn't get that one very good. Okay. Alright, so then I've been using Revlon's Color Stay Pressed Powder. And I use the color um, Light Medium. And I'm just going to take my Sephora... Uh, what brush is this? Rounded powder brush. It's number 49. It's a really large powder brush. I'm just going to dip that in the product and then start sort of sweeping it over my face. So I just kind of buff that into the skin. So now I'm going to use a product that I actually haven't talked about a lot before, but it's from Smashbox. It's an artificial light product, so it's a luminizing liquid. And you can apply this before or after you apply your powder. What I'm going to do is take a little bit on my finger, put it on my hand, and then I'm going to kind of put it into this area here on my cheekbone where I want the light to hit my face and give me a little bit of a shimmer. And then what I'm going to do is just blend this in. And I'm going to use a bronzer and I'm going to use Benefits One Hot Minute. It's a loose powder bronzer. And I'm going to use my SS168. And I'm going to use what little bit of product is sort of loose in the uh, cap, tapping the excess off, and I'm going to apply this to my temple area, up into the hairline. So now I'm going to go down the side of my face at an angle. So 
So going down the side, kind of very lightly because you don't want to get too much product there if uh, you accidentally happen to load too much on your brush. So I'm going down the chin a little bit. This is going to give us a really nice contoured look. I'm going to do a little bit of blush and I think I'm going to do a little bit of Melba. It's a nice matte peachy blush. And so I'm going to use my MAC 129. Do the classic smile and apply it to sort of the apples of my cheeks and back. Actually, I'm going to apply a little bit of eyeshadow. I wasn't really planning on doing this, but I'm going to. I'm going to use a little Urban Decay Primer Potion. I have never really tested out Urban Decay, so we're just going to try this. So I place that on the eye. Just going to blend it out. It's very light. It's much lighter than I kind of thought it was going to be. And it doesn't really have very much color. Okay, so I've blended that out. I think I'm going to go with something pretty subtle and pretty simple. I think I'm going to take my Sonia Kashuk shader brush and I'm going to use this really pretty color here called Shroom. It's a nice highlight color. I could actually zoom in. I forget that I can do that. Now the only option, op, problem is to try to stay into the camera. Okay, so I've got this all over the lid. Now what I'm going to do is take a color called Satin Taupe, this really pretty dark brown. I'm going to use the same Sony Kashuk brush. Apply that to the lid. kind of like that, just patting it on. And then what I'm going to do is kind of lightly blend it up and out. Just like that. I'm going to line my top Lash. Just kind of like that. Now I'm going to do my waterline. Just like that. Curl my lashes. Now I'm going to use Rimmel's Sexy Curves Mascara. Do my bottom lashes. Actually, the color of lipstick that I wore today was born with it. It's a Maybelline color, and this is from their what is this from? This is from their Moisture Extreme collection. Then I'm going to go over that with a little bit of um, plush glass from Mac. It's called Fool for You. So this is actually the look that I wore to work today. It's a really easy look to achieve. This kind of turned into sort of a makeup tutorial in the midst of doing this um, review. So I apologize for the sort of schizophrenic quality of this video. But you can see that it was a really easy foundation to apply. I really like the uh, coverage that it gives me. It's very light. And this is kind of what it looks like up close. So if you're kind of interested in that. So like I said, I really like this Color Stay Active um, foundation. It's very light. It's easy to blend. It stays in place all day. I didn't touch up my powder once throughout the entire day, and I applied Revlon's Color Stay Pressed Powder over the foundation. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you have a wonderful day.